Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back or to the channel. Um, I did one of these videos uh, with the AMG maybe a couple months ago, but I, today I'm actually going to wash the um, the Huracan, the Huracan Evo for the first time. And I just wanted to go through um, the process on how I wash my cars. I'm definitely not a professional or anywhere close to it, but I do wash my vehicles quite a bit. So, um, the main thing I use though is the CR Spotless. It's a water deionizer. It basically takes out the uh, minerals and stuff from your water just so they don't leave. One, it's less likely to leave scratches on your paint from just the small little minerals and uh, material that's in the, the water, which is very minimal. But another main thing is just it doesn't leave water spots. So um, I tend to wash my cars kind of uh, any time of the day. So um, when I have time, it's usually sunny out and today's a little overcast so that helps but um i i get water spots sometimes so this will prevent any water spots I, so the uh, the filters actually last a long time before you need to change them out when they run out and everything so um i've loved that system so far i have no regrets a little expensive i think they're like 400 dollars, but um i think it's worth it to preserve that paint and make sure you're not leaving watermarks but so yeah let's go over so that was the first main thing that i used for the um for the water so we'll go over some of the products i'm going to be using today so i do a two bucket method i do three if i have the third one available but i'm using it for something else right now so um usually like just clean water with some soap in there and this is the one i use to rinse out the uh mitt with just to make sure I get rid of any sort of material that was left from the the paint and so it doesn't transfer back on. But these guards help with, uh, you just kind of rub it on there and it removes some of the uh, material, like I was saying. So uh, super helpful to have those. Uh, always try to do a two bucket method at least. So this is the pressure washer I use, just a Ryobi. Um, nothing special, but it does have um, quick disconnects for the, the gun and everything and the hoses. So I added this piece. And then I added this piece and I'll show you guys how it connects here in a second. And then I just basically use this as the, not the wand, but the, the gun and then spray it off with this 10 degree nozzle or no, not 10 degree, but 40 degree. And here's the foam cannon. So uh, all quick disconnect. So it's super easy to, to, to switch them out. We'll get started on actually washing it. So I'm going to spray it off first with the, a pressure washer just to remove any underlying dirt or you'll see here um, just some dirt and then I'll spray with the foam can so yeah let's get to it and uh, hope you guys enjoy this and learn a thing or two if not you can definitely correct me on what I'm doing wrong or if you have any advice on um, what looks better so yeah let me hook up the CR spotless to the pressure washer and we'll get started Now I essentially got the uh, whole washing system set up. So um, it is an electric pressure washer. So I have that plugged in over there. And then I have the water from the house is coming through here, through the CR spotless machine, getting filtered, going through to the pressure washer. And then that comes out over here, wraps around through this continental hose, through the wand. So as you can see, it's reading zero PPM. So that's good. So that means we're clear to go and to wash the Huracan. All right, so I actually got to do the most important step and that's actually taking it out of the garage and being able to wash it. So let me get to that really quick. Alright guys, so the <clears throat> car is washed off. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, put the soap in the foam can in here. So, um, probably won't be able to like, tell, but there's a uh, there's little notches right here that determine like where to pour it and everything. I literally only do it to the first line. I honestly don't know how much soap it is, but it seems to be enough that it gets a good good foam to it. So, to that first line, it's not level, so 
I'm not gonna really be able to tell. But the, um, so normally for like the truck, I fill up the water pretty much at the top because I need as much soap and water as I um, possibly can. So um, with this one, since it's a small car, I'm probably only gonna fill it to about three quarters. All right, so I did a little bit less than uh, what I said, but this should be plenty for, for the Huracan. So I'm um, just gonna twist it on and let's get started on the foam. Added the soap to the um, foam cannon and now we're gonna get started spraying. Um, should be a good mixture between soap and water. Should have a good amount of foam. Now we have it all sprayed down. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and let the soap do its uh, thing with the dirt. Let it try to uh, get rid of as much dirt as possible. So I'll let it sit for a couple minutes. It's a little sunny, so I might get to it quickly. Then a little bit, um, I'm gonna start wiping the car down. Um, I have a really soft mitt. Um, I got it from Microfiber Madness, and that's really good to make sure that um, it doesn't scratch the paint or anything. So. I got it in my soap bucket and I'm just going to go over the car, very light touching, and just kind of glide over and let what the soap should have done and just get rid of uh, as much of the dirt as possible. As you can tell, I'm, I'm squinting, so it's pretty bright out. Normally you don't want to wash your car in the bright with the sun beaming down because that's how you get the water spots and everything so um but luckily i got the deionizer so that definitely helps with it granted we still want to get the soap off so i'm going to try to do this fairly quickly but uh, just a tip don't wash your car in direct sunlight got done wiping it down um i'm just going to rinse it off uh, with the deionized water and then i'm going to use that express sealant that i'll show you again here in a second to use it to dry it off I just finished up washing the, the car itself and then now I'm going to use that Griot's Garage uh, wheel cleaner. So I'm just going to spray it on really quick and then wipe them down. With the spray and the wheel cleaner, um, these wheels will be super easy to clean because you can just see the huge open design. But I'm pretty liberal with it so I'll also kind of spray it everywhere and let it do its thing. Get rid of some of that road grime. These nice huge red calipers. So I'll let that sit um, and then I'm actually going to spray. What I like to do is spray another wheel while I wait just give it time so I'm trying to maximize my time that I have the wheel cleaner has been sitting for a little bit so I'm just gonna wipe normally I use a rag but they're all dirty I wasn't really planning on washing the car today so um, yeah so I'm just gonna take this and get into these little crevices one thing I'll note I noticed <laughs> this is my first supercar but there's so many different nooks and crannies on these cars that it's actually kind of a pain to wash I thought it'd be easy because it's smaller but that was not the case just got done uh, washing the car and the wheels and everything so um, i'm going to whip it around back it into the garage just so i'm out of the sun and then i'm going to dry it off with this to give it a little protection and some gloss and just to you don't really want to dry your vehicle with just a, a normal rag just a dry rag you want to have some sort of lubricant just so it's not if the, in case there's any dirt or something on there you don't want to just keep on moving it on there so this is a good little uh, lubricant just to make it glide over the paint a little bit better. So um, let me move that really quick and then I'll show you the end product of when it's all dried and the paint's going to be popping and looking really good. Car is in the garage. Um, we're gonna dry it off now. I let it sit a little bit just so it can um, dry off itself, and it's fine because I have that deionized water. But we're just gonna give it some sprays. So you don't. This doesn't really take much. Um, you just need to. Realistically, all I need to do is spray it on a towel. But uh, I'll just give it a couple of sprays on a panel, like one, two, 
and then I'll go into wiping it. Uh, with these, you're gonna want to, um, well, normally I'll, I'll spray one on here, so one on one side, and then you're gonna wipe with the side that you spray, and then dry it off with the, the other side. So as you can see, there's a really nice gloss after adding the Shine Supply wet dealer, detailer to it. So I'm just gonna do that to the rest of the car and it'll look really nice. After I use it for like one or two panels, I like to get a new rag just to make sure I'm not rubbing dirt that I've missed from the wash onto the car itself. vehicle is fully washed um, and dried and everything so uh, delaying in here is not the best but this is how it came out so um, you can it looks like you can see it but yeah look how glossy it is it's looking good so um, I'm gonna see if I can go to a car meet tonight if not I'll just try to uh, do some driving around anyways just so I can get some miles on her because I've had her for about a week a little over a week now I've only put like 50 miles on it so yeah um, so tell me what you guys think uh, how does it look after the wash? It wasn't terribly dirty before, but uh, it was more than I wanted it to be. Again, thanks for watching. Um, more videos to come for sure, but drop a like um, and subscribe if you can. Uh, I hope to put out some, some awesome videos with this car. So uh, drop a like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Tell me what, what you like about the car, but also tell me uh, what you think I did right or wrong on this um, quick uh, wash. Uh, I'm no detailer by any like, means. I'm I just wash my cars here and there. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna wash this car because it's too expensive to ruin and uh, there's professionals for that. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for the next video.